Luke, many thanks for joining us uh, for a look ahead to the finals day this weekend. After the challenges of the last couple of years, uh, what would winning on Saturday mean to you and to the club? Oh, I mean, it means everything. I mean, that's the one thing I, I'd love to bring as captain is some silverware. It's been far too long. You know, I was brought up on winning trophies and that's what this club was all about when I came here. And that was the mentality that was instilled in myself and, and other players. And, and, you know, and that's what we want to bring to our fans. You know, they've had some, a few tough years as well and um, it's too long. You know, we came very, very close. Um, yeah, I think it was 2017, but to get over the line would mean everything. Um, you've played all over the world in you know big finals, IPL, Big Bash, World T20. Um, do you still get nervous before a, a big finals day? I think excited is more than anything. You know, it's for any player you want to play on the big stage against the best players in front of a big crowd. So, uh, you know, for me, it's it's more going the other way when there's no if there's you know the smaller games if there's not so big a crowd, especially when we had COVID times. I found that a lot harder than playing in front of big crowds. Um, of course, I think you know there's always a few butterflies, a few nerves, because you want to do well, you want to perform well, you want to you know, do yourself justice, but you want to do the club justice. So yeah, there's always a few nerves, but it's most exciting. Um, it's excitement is how I normally feel. Talk about excitement, obviously, um, final state is just doing about much more than just what goes on on the pitch. Um, you know, what are you looking forward to about the day, about the event? I just love the fact that, you know, you get all the, the fans and the, and the sponsors, of, you know, the offices, it's not easy getting tickets for those days, but you get as many of the people from Sussex being there for a big day. And, you know, as I said, you want to give the fans and the sponsors and everyone connected with Sussex those big days to enjoy. We love it as players and I know they do as well and the support will be amazing on the day. Um, but Edgbaston do it so well finals day. I think, you know, all the players talk about they want to be there finals day. It's one of the great days in the, in the calendar year. And, um, you know, the fact that we're there, we want to win it. Um, but just the fun and the atmosphere around the ground is absolutely brilliant. Uh, and for the guy, a lot of the guys, you know, played in front of packed stadiums all across the world. That's one of the beauties of our experience lineup. But there are some guys that haven't, you know, as someone who's done it and as the captain, what sort of advice and what sort of chats will you be having with those guys um, ahead of Saturday? Yeah, I mean, we've spoken before. I think the amazing thing about T20 is for these young kids, you obviously have seen it with Archie, you know, he's, you, you play in front of full crowd straight away. It's not like, you know, you, you sort of, this is the one day where you play in front of crowds. They've grown up, they're growing up now with playing in front of big crowds. Obviously with the 100 as well, he's had a finals, he's seen what it's about, although he didn't play. Um, but the big thing for, for any youngsters is actually to take it in. You know, it's very easy to be just so into your day or how you're doing. It's actually at times just to look around and actually take in the fact that there's an amazing crowd, what's there, you know, there's 30,000 people, enjoy, enjoy the day, enjoy the experience because for cricketers, especially someone older than myself, you don't, you know, I would never look back on my own stats and, and think of those days. You know, you obviously have individual days where you do well, but it's all about the days when you win as a club and, and celebrate with your fans and your sponsors and everyone. They're, they're the ones you play cricket for. Um, and, and that's what I'd say to take it in and um, just give it a full go. Just let yourself go. Don't fear the day. Just go and enjoy it. And looking at the, um, you know, the makeup of our squad, obviously no Rashid, no, no Travis, but other sides won't necessarily have um, you know, the overseas they had earlier in the tournament. Is it a fairly level playing field in that respect? Yeah, absolutely. I think for the competition, it's a shame with the way the schedule is because, you know, obviously we'd love Rash, but, you know, for Kent, they'd love Adam Milne playing. I mean, he's been absolutely outstanding, um, both in the blast and in the 100. And you want to see the best players, you know, playing those games. But, yeah, I think, you know, it's the same for all teams. There's no one can complain that, you know, someone's got a huge advantage. We're all in the same boat. Um, it gives other people opportunities, but um, I think that's what it is. You know, we've seen all four teams. We obviously know each other very well, all coming from the South Division, and it's just who plays better on the day. From Sussex's point of view, knowing the other teams so well, do you see that as a, an advantage or, or a disadvantage? Again, I think it's a pretty level playing field. They obviously know us very well. We know them very well. Um, I think the nice thing is, you know, it was, it's hard work when you go against Yorkshire. Say, you know, we played no cricket against them for a long time in 2020. To to have to go through, especially as a captain, to go through all the plans, all the all the prep, all the videos of not knowing the players quite so well, especially when young guys are, are making debuts and things like that. So from that point of view, I suppose it does make it easier that we know the opposition. But as I said, they I'm sure they know us pretty well and they've got their own plans. Just a few days to go now. Um, just talk us through you know, what the final preparations will be and, and what you've done earlier this week um, in terms of getting ready and, and, and knowing your plans for that first semi-final. Yeah, I think it's quite an individual thing. A lot of the prepping, you know, we all know how we want to prep for big games or for, for each game. And uh, it'll be no different. Obviously, Friday we get to train at Edgbaston, which is always nice. Just get a feel for the ground, uh, feel for 
what is, what's to come really, you know, the nets up there are good, um, get a feel, walk around the ground, just get, because you know, the next day it's obviously going to be packed with fans and uh, people enjoying it, but I think everyone has their own way of doing it, um, we've got a middle practice tomorrow, um, and other than that, it's just get ready to go, obviously, it's a shame it's been so long since the last game, but that's, the, as I say, it's the same for everyone, um, and then really it's just getting that performance out of the other day. We're on second um, of the two semi-finals, like we were in 2018, obviously won that. Is, is that something that makes any difference to you? Not really, I don't think it makes any difference. Um, you know, from playing in front of a big crowd point of view, I think that second game's great because it always seems like it's, it's full and ready to go in that second game. The first game, people are still, you know, coming into the ground, sort of getting ready. The atmosphere by then is normally firing by 2.30. People have been enjoying themselves. Um, Look, it doesn't make any difference. I think the biggest thing is just trying to get to that game. We're obviously going to have to play very well against Kent. You know, they, they top the group, rightly so. They played some great cricket. So we're going to have to play our best stuff to get through them. Um, and the break, you know, your adrenaline on the day. We certainly didn't find it a problem going against Worcester. That isn't why we lost in 2017, the fact that we didn't have that break. Sometimes it can be an advantage. You know, I would not long finished batting. You go again. Um, it's, it's just on the day, isn't it? It's just getting that performance out of you. Um, be the final game for CJ and Salty. Um, be lo lovely to, to to send them off with a trophy, and, and I guess they they'll be wanting to leave Sussex with that as their final contribution. Yeah, absolutely. You know, they're, they're two guys that, that love the club. I know for a fact that you know I have no worries. They've not ever put in the effort in. They've been outstanding all the way through their Sussex careers, and I know they'd love to go out on the trophy and, and finish in the right way. And, Hopefully those guys can put in some big performance on the day. They're too big player for us, so you know I have no doubts that hopefully we'll get something big out of those two. Um, and it's you know like I say, it's sad to leave, to lose those players. You know I hate losing good players at this club, um, so I'll be really sad to see them go. But um, let's hope we can go out on, on good fashion. Very finally, the core of the side not that different from 2018. Obviously a few personnel changes in, in some key positions. Um, how do you rate our chances on Saturday? Yeah, massive. I feel like, you know, I've said to the guys, if we play our best cricket, then I'd back us to win every day of the week. You know, we're up against top sides, top players. Um, but I look through the team and I see a lot of match winners. And I, the message is always, let's make sure each time the match winners in our team, not the opposition. And um, look, I, you know, all the way through, we've been able to get performances out of, out of the boys when we've needed it. Different people stand up at different times. Um, and that's all it'll be on Saturday, you know, if we can get get through to that final, it's just it's one or two players really have, have outstanding games in both and you can bring the trophy home and I feel there's enough, there's definitely enough uh, quality in our team to get it done. Well, we'll be wishing you all the best of luck. Thanks for your time. Cheers, thanks.